Next presenter is Waseda University Honjo Senior High School from Japan and the SMA Negligua Dogra Kata from Indonesia. Let's welcome them with a big hand. Hello everyone. Ohayo kasama. Selamat pagi. My name is Ai and I'm Ria. We are we are very we are really glad we we are really glad to have this opportunity to speak in front of this international audience. So we learned that workshop meeting has been growing bigger and bigger. So this event may be a symbol of internationalization. I just said internationalization. Have you ever thought about this word before? Let me ask our friend over here. So what do you think, Mizuki? Uh, I don't know about it. I don't get it. It's too hard work for me. And how about you, Utami? It's not important for me. I'm not interested in it. Oh, so okay then. Mao, please. What do you think about it? Does that have something to do with me? I mean, I'm just a high school student. What about you, audience? Do you have similar feeling? Do you think this word is too wide for us to be taught? So let's figure out. And here are our outlines. Let's begin with my questions. Are many teenagers overwhelmed with the image of the words internationalism? I see nowadays, we always make interaction with our friends. Meanwhile, when we hear the word internationalization, we will picture building relationship among countries. And maybe your first nat natural, natural reaction is, that's not for me. But think about it, uh, to build relationship among countries, what can we do? Yes, by making friendly relations to interaction. Uh, interaction always easy among teenagers, actually not always easy. Many of us feel that there are wars between us. The war means protection of uh, of your heart. When you, when you first meet someone you want or can't show every single thing of yourself. This is because of you. This is because of the world. We must break the wall to build relationships. Then how do we get inside of the walls? We have two things to break the walls. First, your personality. If your personality marches with your partners, the walls will break soon. This is the easiest way to break the walls. Second, interests. When you find someone with same interests, you would get so excited that you cannot stop talking about it over and over. If you find more common with your partner, there will be a bigger chance for walls to be broken. Differences among people is unchangeable because these are deeply rooted in time and place you are born. But the war we are talking about is flexible. Why? Because we can make it less high or even block. However, this cannot be complained, uh, sorry, completed without help of connection in both sides. To become more than a friend, it is very important that two people have the same willingness of interaction and tolerance. We have an experience that tolerance and willingness of make of interactions really break the wall. 
When we were our host families, there were 14 people, three friends, two Indonesians, and the others are Japanese. So naturally, the three native languages and English were heard. When the French people start talking, me as an Indonesian didn't understand, but I was willing to have interaction with them, so I asked them to tell, to explain to me about it in English. Also, we find, we find many different ways of eating, but we tolerate it, uh, and that's one of my best memory. With tolerance and willingness of interaction, we are able to accept differences and have and have better understandings on our identity. For us teenagers, it is important for us to nurture ability to appreciate joy, as we will be the main actor to make the better world in the future. In time of peace, we keep in touch through SNS or international exchanges to share joy to all of the people all in, in the world. If a disaster happens to your friends in another world, you will, you will feel like the part of your life is in danger. We want to help them, but what can we really do now is, is lifting their sadness and making them happy, even though it's a little. So, what does the world mean without happiness and joy? It's nothing. Do you know the pleasant box? It's tricky box. If you open the box, the smaller box comes out. Then you open the, that box, there comes another smaller box. And you keep opening and opening. The box gets smaller and smaller. Finally, you get to a jewelry in the smallest box. This is why we feel when we find out the difference Two, between two cultures again and again, and it gets closer to the jury. Sometimes we find something common, the best point of all things surrounded by the amazing joy. Actually, that's what happened to us in the sixth day. The first impression I got when we met was that it would be really hard for us to eat or sleep together because we were so different. But after we spent the time with them together, we could understand their personalities. Some unfamiliar custom, like Indonesians play to God before they go to bed. And they also understand our Japanese culture that we say itadakimasu and gochisousama, do thanks to the food. Finally, we find the same part. We find the amazing girls talk. I think teenage girls can understand it, right? Then we realize that we ate both teenagers. After that, we got so close because we found their dirty. Because of the word internationalization is interpreted as something that teenagers cannot handle, many of them avoid or ignore it. There is a big possibility that they don't pick the box up. So that's why we remind you to look at the real meaning of international racism. What we should deny is not international internationalization, but the image, the image of internationalization itself. If I weren't participated in the World Youth Meeting, I wouldn't have friends from Japan, from Philippines, and from Malaysia. And I believe that almost all of you in this hall have the same experience too. We open the box. There are so many boxes everywhere outside the world. Don't you think it's Motainai not to open the big box full of joiners in front of you? So please, let's open the box together. Thank you for listening.
Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the nice presentation. Your presentation was great. I know the Facebook and Twitter are good communication tools, and but as you said, face-to-face -face communication is more important. It is very good. Teacher, do you have any comments? Yes, thank you very much. It was interesting uh, in that you talked about internationalization, such a big topic, from teenagers' point of view and you made it easier for us to open the box because you are the main actors in the future to open those box and to deal with internationalization from your own point of view. So, congratulations. Thank you.